Hello everyone! Welcome to Math is Fun! Our lesson for today is all about multiplying simple fractions and mixed fractions. These are the steps in multiplying simple fraction by a simple fraction. Number 1. Multiply both numerators and both denominators. Use a cancellation method first before multiplying if it is possible. Number 2. Simplify your answer to its lowest term whenever possible. To fully understand the steps, Let's study some examples. Find the product of 5 15th and 9 18th. In this example, we can use a cancellation method first before we're going to multiply both numerators and both denominators to make our fractions in its simplest form. And it is easier for us to reduce our product to its lowest term if it is possible. In using cancellation method, make sure that you find a common factor and paired the numerator and denominator. We can't cancel both numerators or both denominators. So in this example, 5 and 15, they have a common factor which is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Likewise, with 9 and 18, they have a common factor, which is 9. 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Our final answer is 1 sixth. Remember that if the numerator is 1, then it is in the lowest term. We call it a unit fraction. Another example, 7 8 times 2 over 21. In this example, do we have a factors that we can cancel? 7 8 is already in the lowest term. And also, 2 over 21. But if we're going to pair 7 and 21, they have a common factor which is 7. So 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Likewise, with 8 and 2, they have a common factor which is 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. The final answer is 1 12. These are the steps in multiplying simple fraction by a mixed fraction. Number 1. Change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Number 2. Multiply both numerators and both denominators. Use a cancellation method first before multiplying if it is possible. Number 3. Simplify your answer to its lowest term whenever possible. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. 4 fifths times 2 and 1 half. In multiplying simple fraction by a mixed fraction, change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So we're going to copy first 4 fifths to the other side of our equation. Then we're going to change 2 and 1 half into an improper fraction. How? By just multiplying the whole number to the denominator of the fraction. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then add the numerator. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then copy the denominator, which is 2. Next, evaluate the fractions. We can use a cancellation method first before we're going to multiply both numerators and both denominators. So, 
4 and 2, they have a common factor, which is 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Also, 5 and 5, they have a common factor, which is 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Lastly, reduce your answer to its lowest term if it is possible. So 2 over 1 is equal to 2. Another example. 2 sixths times 5 and 4 eighths. In this example, we can use a cancellation first before we're going to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. We can find the common factor of 2 and 6, which is equal to 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then we're going to copy the whole number 5. Then, 4 8, we can reduce it to its lowest term. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Then, we're going to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. We're going to copy one third to the other side of our equation. Then, 5 and 1 half into an improper fraction. 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Then, we're going to copy the denominator 2. Next is, we're going to multiply both numerators and both denominators. 1 times 11 is equal to 11. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. What kind of fraction is 11 over 6? Yes, it is an improper fraction. To reduce improper fraction to its lowest term, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 11 divided by 6 is equal to 1. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. Then we're going to take the remainder 5 as our numerator and 6, the divisor, as our denominator. Therefore, 11 over 6 or 1 and 5, 6. This is our final answer. These are the steps in multiplying mixed fraction by another mixed fraction. Number one, change the mixed fractions into an improper fractions. Number two, multiply both numerators and both denominators. Use a cancellation method first before multiplying if it is possible. Lastly, Simplify your answer to its lowest term whenever possible. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. 1 and 1 fourth times 2 and 6 eighth. In this example, we can use a cancellation method first before we're going to change the mixed fractions into an improper fraction. So 1 and 1 fourth is in the lowest term. But 2 and 6 eighths, we can reduce 6 eighths to its lowest term. So, what is the common factor of 6 and 8? Yes, 6 and 8, they are both divisible by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Then, copy the whole number 2. We're going to change mixed fractions into an improper fractions. We start with 1 and 1 fourth. So, 1 times 4 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. Then, copy the denominator 4. Next, 2 and 3 fourth. 2 times 4 is equal to 8, plus 3 is equal to 11. Then, copy the denominator 4. So, we're going to multiply both numerators and both denominators. So, 5 times 11 is equal to 55. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. What kind of fraction? What kind of fraction is 55 over 16? Yes, it is an improper fraction. To change improper fraction to its lowest term, we're going to divide the numerator, which is 55, to the denominator, which is 16. 
So 55 divided by 16 is equal to 3. 3 times 16 is equal to 48. 55 minus 48 is equal to 7. Then we're going to take 7 as our numerator and 16 as our denominator. Therefore, 55 over 16 or 3 and 7 over 16. Another example, 2 and 2 fourth times 1 and 10 over 15. In this example, we can cancel first before we're going to change mixed fractions into an improper fractions. So, 2 and 4, they are both divisible by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Then, copy the whole number 2 times 10 and 15. They are both divisible by 5. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Then, copy the whole number 1. Next, we're going to change 2 and 1 half and 1 and 2 third into an improper fractions. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then copy the denominator 2. Next, 1 and 2 third. 1 times 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then copy the denominator 3. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. What kind of fraction is 25 over 6? Yes, it is an improper fraction. To reduce improper fraction to its lowest term, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 25 divided by 6. And the answer is equal to 4. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 25 minus 24 is equal to 1. We take 1 as our numerator and 6 as our denominator. So 25 over 6 is equal to 4 and 1 6. And this is our final answer. I hope you understand our lesson for today. With that, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.